there's a land just with sand uh, near Colombo, right in front of your office, which needs to be filled with businesses. And, yeah. and, and one of the companies mm -hmm. that came did not get, not one of the company. Let's talk about India. The Adani group wants to develop the East Terminal. What kind of uh, uh, reception did we give them? And we had to actually cancel that agreement. That I think in, 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 the, in the global stage, it looks so kiddish. Uh, you don't do businesses like that, especially government to government don't do businesses like that. And India is not a country that we do not know about. It, it, it's pretty much there. And, and you need to understand and people need to understand when we take some kind of a, a very defensive uh, method, they also act in that manner. We saw that translating uh, into uh, them sitting back at the UNHRC, whereas we would have got that vote and y'all would have, we would have had a, a very stronger case to make to the world saying about human rights violations. That didn't happen. How, what, what exactly is, is the foreign ministry telling India at this moment? We saw a lot of dignitaries coming uh, to Sri Lanka trying to figure out what's going on. Is this the way this government is doing business? Well, actually, India, as you say, is a critical element in our relations in the world because strategically, India is the biggest country in the exactly. Indian Ocean, biggest population, biggest coastline, and a major economy, and the fastest developing economy. So we need to benefit from India. There is no doubt, none whatsoever. But in order to you know, pacify India, one thing is we have to tell India, we have to prove to India that we will never be a strategic security threat to India. The moment India feel insecure about Sri Lanka being exploited by someone, it's problem. So that is one message we are telling loud and clear. And I have heard the, His Excellency the President saying this in no uncertain terms that he will never ever allow the Sri Lankan land or the ocean area to be a threat to a country by another country, especially referring to India. So this, this strategy, is military, right? No, not necessarily militarily, but I mean, when you say strategic, gone are the days when you say strategic is military. Now economy is part of the, the strategic security. Environment is part of the uh, strategic security. These all encompassing now. But then you ask the question about investment. You are absolutely spot on. We need more multiple investment to come. When there are business interests, they support us. Mm. When there are business interests, they protect us. Now, right now, we don't have that much. So right now, we have only very limited uh, We can't be going with the whole talk about 2,000-year relations and no. when our action is proving it some, yeah, somewhat we, we, different. Now, of course, as far as India is concerned, I think now, of course, you mentioned the East Container Terminal. We, we couldn't do it as promised. But now we have given the West Container Terminal. And recently, we signed a deal uh, to uh, give, I mean, uh, to come to an amicable solution to the oil tank farm in Trincomalee. And these are very positive signs that we have done to India. Uh, Foreign Secretary, you understand the politics of this country. I I'm talking about within Sri Lanka. Now, see, uh, all these goons who are screaming, saying, we don't have investments, uh, we don't have this, we don't have that, this country has failed, blah, 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 are the same goons who go and stand in front of those particular uh, places and hold placards saying the country is being sold. Put this argument to rest. Are you all selling assets of Sri Lanka at this moment? Uh, are you all selling assets? Uh, let's take about the oil tank. Are you selling our assets to India? Are you selling our assets in terms of China, the port city, uh, or, or whatever our roads? Are you giving a, a con complete control to these countries? Because apparently, if you switch on a TV, forget about other television channels, switch on our one, and when you see our 655 news, you see, my God, this country is screwed. Because that is how these people, especially the opposition, is projecting it. Anybody who comes, uh, any foreign investor, I don't think they want to even look at this side of, of, this, uh, of the Indian Ocean because such negativity is going. So please, put to rest are you selling Sri Lankan assets to the world? The very clear answer is no. Sri Lanka is not selling anything. But you see now Sri Lanka is a country, we have a land. Now we need to make use of this land. 
and we need a foreign investor to come and invest it. That is because we don't have the money to do it by ourselves. We don't have the money to invest big time. That is true. Right. So we need a foreign investor to come and invest his money. Now he is investing. But what is the guarantee that he is getting? Right. So therefore, we have to be very clever in our dealing on these national uh, strategic assets, whether it is port, whether it is oil tank, whether it is any other entity here. So this is like, you know, you asked the question of Trincomalee oil tank farm. Now, this is actually a very long history mm. to it. I don't think we will go into yeah. that, but it was initiated in 2003. Right. But it was never concluded. Mm. But right now, what they have done is 14 tanks given to the LIOLC, which is already mm. being used and 24 tanks given to CPC completely, totally. And now they control the 24 tanks. When you them. use words like saying controlling, what does that mean? No. So let's say there, there are 14 tanks uh, in, in Trincomalee, which is now controlled by, by the LIOC. Now, can the LIOC say, hey, no fuel from tomorrow and create some kind of a dearth in the uh, 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 mismatch in the country? Can they do that? Is this what this agreement, because that's how it's been projected, apparently, there's no, a massive no. threat. <laughs> well, how can they say when they have 200 petrol stations in the country, if they say no fuel, it is their problem. So they will never be able to say that, right? And also there is a competitor, Ceylon Petroleum Corporation. Now Petroleum Corporation has 24 tanks to use. And then the balance, uh, the uh, 61 tanks, now is a joint venture, right? 51% of stake with the Sri Lankan Petroleum Corporation and 49% with the uh, Lanka Indian oil company now as a joint venture so that means we have a control there the chairman will be from Sri Lanka the chief executive officer will be from India whatever the decision they make they will have to be in towing the line so there is nothing about selling unless we do things like this how can we get investment this is the problem no telling the people the difference between investment and selling. There is a big difference. Now you can look at the port city. Now everybody was saying, oh, you need a passport to go to mm. port city. No, it is not. Port city is Sri Lankan land, but it's a special entity. But if we want the zone, it's a zone, right? But if we want the investors to come into the country during, I mean, through our red tape and bureaucracy, nobody come. We have practically experienced that. So that is why this special vehicle was created in order to attract investment in a very different atmosphere, different environment, different legislation. And, and this is not the first time that is being done by Sri Lanka. No. This is pretty no. much what the entire world is doing, special economic zones. Yeah, there is nothing wrong in it. Now, right now, you see there are key assets that we have. One is the port city. One is the Hambantota industrial zone, Hambantota harbor. So these are critical values asset that we have we need to develop them we need to make use of them to benefit our economy we don't have the money what do we do what do we do then we need to enter into a partnership when you enter into a partnership you have to give something you have to give no, some no, assurance I mean, yeah, exactly. right exactly. otherwise nothing will come so this negativity is totally harming. wrong it is harming our image it is harming the investor confidence we need to get out of this negativity yeah, so we have to be look at positively